a miracle under the mattress a Michigan boy 14 months somehow survives wild ride in a tornado a mattress and a miracle are being credited for sparing the life of a 14 month old boy sucked out of his home crib and all and thrown 40 or 50 feet by a powerful tornado that struck a sleeping Michigan family on Friday by the time Joe Sawyering and a neighbor found little Blake whimpering beneath his mattress Sawyering had already come across the mangled remnants of his son's crib and knew that his Millington Michigan home was destroyed luckily more than luckily the mattress was still over him that's probably what saved him Sawyering said during an appearance Monday on today Sawyering and his wife Nicole Operman had just retired after they thought that the evening's tornado scare had passed with the 12.45 a.m. expiration of a warning by the National Weather Service. We thought it was okay to go to bed, but the tornado hit the house about 1.20 in the morning, Sawyering said. While Operman scrambled to gather up Blake and his three-year-old sister, Michaela, Sawyering had his hands full, hanging onto the bed. The couple's single-story house was shaking very violently. The roof was getting ripped off. The floor started giving away under the bed. Sawyering recalled, I was trying to hold onto the mattress to stay up. It ended up sucking me through the floor, down into the basement. The walkout basement doors were already blown out from the pressure. It sucked me back into the back lawn. Operman was not doing much better. She was looking for the children, but debris was flying everywhere. I was on my way to go get them, and everything started falling down, she said. I kept trying to get it. I tipped. I kept trying to get to them and I couldn't. It came out of nowhere. When the twister moved on, both Sawyering and Oprah Man immediately began calling out for the children. Just then, Michaela appeared. Part of her bed was found over in our neighbor's yard. We don't know where she came from, Oprah Man said. She just came out of nowhere. Sawyering and a neighbor were searching for Blake for about 10 minutes when the neighbor thought he heard something. They stood very silent for a moment and then heard the baby sort of whimper. Digging through a huge pile of rubble, they found Blake's mattress and turned it over. The child had a cord wrapped around his neck so wasn't able to cry or yell very loudly. Little Blake sustained cuts and bruises, but otherwise escaped the incident unscathed. It was a miracle. They're just bumped up. They've got scratches and bruises all over them, but they're doing really good. A thankful Oprah man said of her children. Yes, that's quite a miracle.